Elon has done it again. This time, he's introducing something that could change the world forever. A water-powered engine. Tesla's latest breakthrough is a car that runs on water, producing nothing but clean water vapor and leaving zero harmful emissions. After leading the electric vehicle revolution, Elon is now flipping the script and pushing a technology that seemed impossible not too long ago. This could transform not just the automotive industry, but the entire energy landscape. But here's the real question. Can Elon's water engine truly become the fuel of the future? Or is this just the beginning of something even bigger? Part 1. The Big Reveal and How It Works Elon Musk has never been one to shy away from making waves with his ambitious announcements, and this time he's outdone himself. Imagine scrolling through your Twitter feed, now known as X, and suddenly stumbling upon the news that Tesla is ditching battery-powered cars. Yes, you read that right. Musk, the same guy who revolutionized the electric vehicle EV industry, now says Tesla is moving towards something completely unexpected, a water engine. Crazy, right? This announcement caught everyone off guard. For years, we've all been hearing about the magic of electric cars, with Tesla at the forefront, pushing battery technology to its limits. So when Musk unveiled his latest brainchild, the water engine, it felt like a seismic shift in the future of transportation. I'm sure you're asking, what exactly is this water engine, and how is it supposed to work? Let me take you through it. Let's rewind for a second and look at why this announcement is such a big deal. Tesla had faced a real challenge recently when it came to producing its new 4,680 battery cells on a mass scale. These batteries were meant to take Tesla's electric cars to the next level, but they hit a wall. Mass producing them wasn't as easy as they had hoped. So rather than stick to a plan that wasn't quite panning out, Musk decided to do what Musk does best. Change the game entirely. In a move that stunned not only his fans, but also the entire automotive industry, he declared that Tesla would now focus on water engines. Even more surprising was the fact that this announcement came after years of Musk trash-talking hydrogen fuel cells, which he once famously called fool cells. This sudden shift to hydrogen-powered technology was like Musk doing a complete 180. But of course, knowing Musk, there's always a method to the madness. Now let's jump into the mechanics of this revolutionary water engine. At first glance, it might sound like something straight out of science fiction, using water to power cars. But trust me, it's very real, and the technology behind it is both fascinating and incredibly clever. The water engine works using a process called reverse electrolysis. If you remember anything from your high school science class, Electrolysis is when you use electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. What Musk and his team have done is flip that process. Instead of splitting water, the engine takes hydrogen and oxygen and combines them to create electricity. This process not only powers the car, but also produces only one byproduct, water vapor. Yep, you heard that right. The engine emits nothing but harmless water vapor, making it the cleanest energy source you can imagine. So how does this actually work in practice? When water is introduced into the engine, it's split into hydrogen and oxygen using a small amount of energy. These gases are then stored in separate tanks within the vehicle, ready for use. As the car runs, hydrogen from the tank is fed into a fuel cell, where it splits into protons and electrons. The electrons are then used to generate an electric current, which powers the car's electric motor and makes the vehicle move. Meanwhile, the protons pass through a special membrane and combine with oxygen from the air to form, guess what, water vapor. This simple but ingenious process keeps going as long as there's water and hydrogen available. It might sound like magic, but it's all built on solid, cutting-edge science that could change the way we drive forever. One of the key questions people had after Musk's announcement was, how efficient is this water engine compared to other engines? I mean, let's be real. If it's not efficient, it doesn't matter how cool the technology is, right? Well, the water engine doesn't disappoint. 
Traditional internal combustion engines, the kind most cars have today, are only about 20 to 30 percent efficient, meaning a lot of the energy is wasted as heat. Electric vehicles like Tesla's current models are far more efficient, clocking in at around 85 to 90 percent. The water engine lands somewhere in the middle with an efficiency of about 60 percent. But here's the kicker. It doesn't just stop at efficiency. What makes the water engine stand out is that it combines decent efficiency with the fact that it produces zero emissions. And the benefits don't end there. One of the biggest challenges with electric cars is range anxiety, that nagging fear that your car will run out of juice in the middle of nowhere with no charging station in sight. Current electric vehicles typically offer between 200 to 300 miles per charge, depending on the model. The water engine, however, takes things to the next level. Thanks to the high energy density of hydrogen, water-powered cars could potentially offer a range comparable to or even better than gasoline-powered vehicles. Imagine driving a car that doesn't just emit water vapor but also gives you the peace of mind of a long driving range. That's a game-changer for sure. But what really sets the water engine apart is how quickly it can be refueled. With electric cars, you've got to deal with long charging times, sometimes hours, depending on the type of charger you're using. The water engine, on the other hand, can be refueled in a matter of minutes, just like a regular gasoline car. You pull up to a refueling station, fill up with water or hydrogen, and you're back on the road in no time. This convenience, combined with its environmental benefits, could make the water engine a serious contender in the future of transportation. Of course, one of the biggest reasons Musk's water engine announcement has everyone talking is its potential impact on the environment. Let's face it, our planet is in trouble, and transportation is a huge contributor to carbon emissions and air pollution. Traditional cars running on gasoline emit around 4.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide every year. That's a staggering amount of pollution. Now imagine replacing all those gas-guzzling cars with water-powered ones. The water engine doesn't emit any carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, or particulate matter. The only thing it releases is water vapor. If adopted on a large scale, this technology could dramatically cut down on air pollution, especially in crowded urban areas where air quality is a serious issue. But let's not forget that electric vehicles, while better for the environment, aren't completely free from criticism either. The batteries used in EVs require materials like lithium and cobalt, which are often mined in ways that are harmful to both the environment and human rights. Plus, if the electricity used to charge those EVs comes from non-renewable sources, then the overall reduction in carbon emissions is less significant. That's why Musk's water engine is such a breath of fresh air, literally. It offers a cleaner alternative that doesn't rely on the mining of rare earth materials and can be powered by renewable energy sources.